Um, so today I am going to be working on the beehives. I don't know if I told you guys that we got, I found a deal on beehives of a person who was, I found a guy that was getting rid of some and I picked him up. So Steve and I got enough boxes and frames to do two full-size beehives with two supers and two medium boxes with 10 frames in each. So these boxes that I got, yes, I got them for a good, good deal, but um, they definitely need some cleaning. So I got to scrape everything out and torch them, then I'm going to actually repaint them very vibrant like my personality. <laughs> um, so yeah, so today is actually like a fluke day. We were having like freezing weather, a little bit of snow, and it was like almost 50 today. So, and we cleaned out the garage. So I'm going to um, start scraping and get going on these because believe it or not, spring is right around the corner and believe it or not, believe it, uh, we, I, and Steve's going to have to help me with some of it. I have a lot of plans for out on the farm this year, so I want to get this done so I'm not scrambling to do it in the spring because this is something I could do through the winter because I don't need to be outside. But, yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do um, to get it clean and sanitized and ready to go for our new colony this spring. Yeah, so if you take a look at these hives, they uh, a little worse for wear. But um, with just a little bit of scraping, I'm actually going to be using... Uh, roof scraper. I have these other two to get into small places as well, but the roof scraper seems to work the best. And I'm just going to scrape it into this tote and all the beeswax and stuff I can actually give to the chickens. Now, I, I saw this thing online that you can actually, with the plastic um, bee frames, that you can run them through your dishwasher to get the excess um, wax off so like this one's nice and clean now um, take it from me don't do that um, I did it and yes it worked but it coats your whole dishwasher with wax and then that means all your dishes get coated with wax it took about five cleaning cycles and me scraping and scooping wax out of the dishwasher to get it finally clean. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I read about another couple things, so I'll let you know once I get to that point. But yeah, I'm going to just start scraping some frames and move on from there. As you can see, that didn't take too long. I got most of it off. Uh, this other stuff is going to have to work a little bit harder, but it comes off. They like this little, it's almost like shavings from uh, woodworking. All right, so after you get the frames all scraped out, this is the inside of the box. So I need to get all this old beeswax out. So I'm just going to use the same tool, the, the roof scraper seems to be working. Um, and yeah, you just, I need to get all this out and all that. And whatever I don't get out, I'm going to end up torching this when I'm done. I still have three boxes left to do. I'm going to end up torching the inside to actually sanitize it um, so that will get the leftover stuff that I leave behind, but I'll show you um, what it looks like after I'm done scraping. So here is a box all scraped out. Took me maybe three minutes to do with the roof scraper. All clean. Now it'll be ready to be torched. I am going to show you guys how I torch the inside. I just did one of the boxes and I will show you um, what you have to do to sanitize the bee box. Just using this small hand torch, just bada bang, but all you're going to do is torch the inside, 
You don't want to burn it, you just want a little bit of color. And you're going to do that to all sides. Just like that, the box is sanitized, so I still need to do some scraping, and I'm going to try and figure out how to get these frames a little bit cleaner. Some of them are actually pretty good, some of them are not. So i got to do a little bit of research on that to try and figure all that out, but it's coming along. I'm glad I have the winter to get this done, because it's kind of hard but with Finn now that he's walking. <laughs> he can't really be down in the garage and he doesn't like to be where I'm not so I have to kind of get it in when he's napping and everything so slowly but surely we will get these beehives looking the way that I want them to and ready to taste some sweet sweet honey. The next step with the beehives is that I gotta coat the frames with new beeswax because I washed them all off and scraped them off so now they have no beeswax on them for the bees to pull out once we get them in there so I ordered this two pound block of natural beeswax from a um, bee aviary off of Etsy and it smells amazing. It smells like honey and just amazingness. Um, so what I need to do is I was gonna, I was trying to cut it in half but that didn't work as you can see because it's so thick. Um, so I'm just gonna pop it right in my pan. A lot of uh, people I saw that I looked up use like uh, the little electric skillets I don't have one of those and I kind of want to just get this crossed off our list of things to do. So I'm going to just use a non-stick pan and put the heat on low. And once this gets melted down, I will show you how I'm going to put them on the bee frames. Now that the wax is almost all the way melted, I got these little kit from the dollar store that comes with a nice little roller and um, some extra stuff that you can use for something else. All I'm going to need is the roller. I also got this one just to see which one would work better, also at the dollar store. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the frames up and start rolling. Okay, so all I'm doing is rolling my roller in the wax and then bringing it going up one way and then down the other and you can see the wax start to dry on the frames. Here I grabbed a black one so it might be a little bit easier to see the wax drying. But just go up down, see how it turns like an off-white color, and you just need a thin layer on each side, and then your frames are ready to go on the hive for your new bees. So I'm going to do the rest of these, and then transfer them into the hive. Rolling some beeswax to make some honey. In case you can't tell, the smell is amazing. Can't wait to have our own honey. <laughs> 